Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is kind of impromptu, I just wanted to do an energy reading for this week. Um, we're starting off August on a Monday, I kind of like that. Um, we have a lot of things going on um, right now. I think Mars just made it to Taurus, um, and so we have that going on. Um, I know communication last week was kind of wonky. I know in my life it was, and in some of my friends, there's like just lots of just what just happened or just not even being able to like reach people it was just weird like one of my friends was like is it mercury retrograde i was like no it's not but it's kind of worse <laughs> what's going on um but this week i don't know i just feel just a lighter energy right off the bat i'm just more excited um august is going to be exciting guys it's going to be really really exciting if you guys would like to see like readings for like the signs um let me know if you're interested in that and also say what sign you are so i can you know get those signs out first but um yeah i just want to know what is the energy of this upcoming week what do we have to look forward to this week okay Ooh. Oh my gosh, okay. Hopefully you guys can see these. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay guys, so first we have the High Priestess. You're going to be going deep down within yourself. You're probably thinking about manifesting, um, connecting with your higher self. Um, this could also be a message that we have some kind of uh, faded things coming into our life right now. Um, things that maybe we don't completely understand, but Overall, it is going to be good, even though if it seems a little difficult right now. Um, High Priestess is usually a very, very mysterious card, um, but also it is just, I mean, it's the High Priestess. So it's amazing with just connecting with that, which is within you um, and you're just your higher self, your angels, your guides. King of Cups. I love that this is a king, you know, and that we did not get uh, one of the other cards. Not that they're bad, but you know, the King of Cups, he is really in touch with his emotions, his feelings. Um, he definitely is that person who um, can easily sense everything within a room, within ourselves. Um, I think this is also telling us that whatever we are, um, you know, manifesting or whatever we are trying to heal, we are going to have to kind of tap into our emotions, our intuition to actually get to that point. And so this could also be a sign that you're feeling more than you're used to feeling at the moment. Um, it is nothing that you feel out of control over though, but there definitely is a little bit more sensitivity in the air. Last, we have 10 of coins um, or 10 of pentacles. I absolutely love this. Um, this is of wealth, not just doing well now this is like generational wealth you know people who have things that their entire family can enjoy you know whether it is a you know second home or a timeshare in the mountains that everyone can get together and go to or just things that you can pass down um it could be a, a family business but um this is just as you can see just everyone here is actually thriving um for a lot of you you might be looking for more financial stability you might be working on that at the moment um, also, I think it's a really good omen of things to come, especially when there are changes, whether you initiated the changes or not. I am interested to see what is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. Um, I really, really like this card <laughs> because this kind of just shows what is in our past. Um, if you see, he has three cups, they're empty, and then we have two behind. So it's kind of like there might be some loss here um, now that I'm seeing it, especially since we have this very mysterious High Priestess card. Um, but it is saying that there is still a lot of, lot of hope, even if you might be feeling more sensitive um, and just more a little more emotional right now. Um, in the end, um, you know, this might lead to better opportunities for you, um, you know, just to prosper. I do want to get more information on the um, King of Cups because I'm really interested to see uh, King of Cups uh, might actually be a person in our lives as well whether we have met them yet or not um, a person that's going to help us get to there um, with the card of the Five of Cups that we just pulled um, basically we could have lost something and in that loss 
we meet this person or this person helps us um, and this could be someone that you work with or you work for um, this could be someone that you just met as a romantic um, or you're going to meet <laughs> as a, a romantic prospect um, or it could be like a family member but um, usually it is a male but it could also um, represent our headspace right now so more information on the king of cups please Okay, wow, yeah guys. So Six of Swords, um, we are definitely moving from uh, harder times. I really love, like this card because you see the two people, they're hunkered down and then there's this man and he's basically getting them out of harm's way. Um, you, you can see the water guys, over here it's really still, it's really calm. Where they're coming, they are flowing on a wave of, you know, emotion of current. Um, you know, swords are usually air cards, which is fine, but you see how this one adds in a little bit of the water. So during this time, um, you might be feeling some sadness, um, maybe a little distraught, but as they're hunkered down and they're together, they're not alone, um, you know, it is more of a comforting card. Like, we know it's hard right now, but where you are going, you're going to find everything that you need, especially if you feel like you're healing right now. So yeah i definitely we're starting to see the whole whole picture here um emotions might have been really high this week um or last week um and this is actually what we are moving into because i do feel like this story began within the past i would say at least two weeks um so um more about the ten of coins please oh my gosh the emperor <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird guys like i love doing readings but like sometimes like it just like surprises me <laughs> okay um this is boss energy wow so if this is you um you might really be buckling down you might really be doing some things that starting some new things that maybe you did not have the discipline to start before um this is 100 percent taking charge completely the emperor again this could represent someone else either already in your life or that you have recently met that is going to help you get to this because this is generational wealth there are other wealth cards in this deck um that can symbolize things but if you see this one there are people around you know a, you know a family um I mean, it could be a family, but it also could be your friends. But um, usually we interpret it as like, this is your family. This is the generational wealth. This is like grandpa. And then you could have your aunt or your mother. We have a little one. This could be a niece or nephew. Um, we have the family dog. So usually a family card. But no, this is help. Um, for some people, I'm just, I'm getting the idea or just the sense that um, there may be some going back home with the family. And this will help you to either save up and not have as much like if you feel like you're drowning especially if it's more a finance thing um this could help you uh get to a place where you can be financially free um for other people uh, honestly this is just what you are starting and what you've been thinking about now um financially uh especially if you guys are cancer rising right now um right now we just had everything happening in the second house of money and wealth so if that is you if your second house is in cancer um well if your second house is in leo then um right now you manifesting wealth it's um it's going to happen a little quicker for you um everyone else you can still try to manifest you know money or more money but just know that this isn't like you finally getting a check um out of nowhere um it could be any type of check <laughs> um it could be a check from like a a job you already left and they're giving you your last check or this could be coming from a friend giving you money or for your birthday this isn't just like a little windfall like a lump sum of money that you need this is um something that's stable that will continue to bring in income whether this is some type of side job that you're just getting into um or i don't know maybe you're just re-upping your entire job or this could actually be the family that you're starting with someone else but um wow I like it. I like it a lot, guys. Um, but again, as I said with the High Priestess, there is an air of mystery about this. So a lot of these changes, um, I think it's going to take some time for them to set in because um, like last week I made that video, The Winds of Change. That's just where we are right now. <laughs> we are within the, you know, the winds of change. That's how it's going to be. So a lot of things we're not going to completely understand right off the bat. But um, 
during this time, just know that you are going in a good direction. And if you guys need a video on helping to heal through change, especially if it's an abrupt change, a radical change, um, there are things that I am doing in my life to help with that too. And I can make a whole video on that in helping because um, some of us just need comfort no matter what type of change you're going through. And, um, you know, sometimes it you need a little help in knowing that everything's going to be okay. So this is really great. Um, I don't know if I should do a reading for our relationships or not. Or maybe I'll ask a question. Does any of this pertain to relationships? Because um, this is a collective reading. So for some people, this is going to be... Um, more about your finances for other people this is definitely going to be about you um maybe meeting people that not only are helping you but you have romantic interest in so um are there any love messages for us in this reading oh <laughs> queen of cups <laughs> that's a yes guys <laughs> that is a yes wow so you see the king and queen um they are together um gosh there is a lot of water energy even though swords usually um you know represents air there's a lot of water energy right now so pisces scorpio um cancer gang or people who have um just a lot of water in their chart um it could be your rising it could be your moon whatever but um some there could be a lot of things going on for you guys right now or it could also be um someone in your life could be water um but this is very you know she's just very in tune um i want to look something up really quick when it comes to the queen of cups she is very very intuitive um this might be you taking on a more nurturing role um, I think it's really interesting that we have both the King of Cups on here and the Queen of Cups. You guys, because um, I, I did ask this question more pertaining to love, you actually might be either connecting with someone or about to connect with someone who you can talk to or lend them an ear. Um, whether they're going through something or you're going through something, this is going to be a relationship based off of just um, trust and nurturing each other um, from our emotional depths. Um, this isn't a um, a more physical, you know, just relationship of like a fling or something. This is something that, like, you know, the queen herself, she's very caring. She's very sensitive. She's very in tune with herself. And honestly, since we have both of these on here, I just feel like you're going to be finding a safe space within someone, um, whatever's going on right now. Um, this is just a very, I think, just comforting in all. Um, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, and you guys know what that is. Um, that is a love offering. Um, I like it much more than like um, the, uh, what is it, the Knight of Wands, because uh, sometimes he just, he comes in, well, then I have wands, and even then I have swords. You know, the, the Knight of Wands usually is like power and like passion and sometimes it can this can be someone like coming into your life really quickly but um in my experience sometimes it also can represent them leaving just as quickly as they got there um this is a love offering guys so for a lot of you whether you're looking for it or not or maybe you are interested um yeah there definitely is some some relationship vibes going on right now um, and I think, I think it's really good that we have the Emperor card right here because, um, for some people, and I'm, I'm getting this thought right now, for some people, this is going to be someone that, um, is older than you. I don't know how much older, but they will be either in a seat of like uh, power you know this could be someone that owns their own business or perhaps you work for them or um, they could be in politics something like that um, but they do have um, some type of power um, or there just is a large um, age gap and um, no this person will definitely be able to help you but right now um, not only help but they'll be able to sympathize and this could also be for some of you you will be the one giving them the air because I think somehow you'll understand what they're going through and maybe what you're going through, whether or not you share with them that you're going through the same thing. Um, they will see you as someone who just gets it, who just gets them. And honestly, I think that's a really, really, really beautiful thing. <laughs> and I'm so glad that with this reading, we also got, um, you know, something just positive for our relationships, you know, because 
why not <laughs> doesn't that make any everything more fun like you can find stability and safety um hmm that is interesting okay i have one more question to ask guys and then i'm going to wrap this video up again let me know if you guys want to do one for going through the different signs right now um because we do have a lot of uh just astrology and just transits happening and um, you know everyone's gonna be affected differently does this pertain to money in career this pertain to money in career hmm. okay so yeah so we're kind of split right now guys um because I was wondering if this pertains more to money and career um we have the seven of pentacles and then I pulled one more and we have the six of wands. Um, so yeah, for some of you, this is going to be directly related to um, your finances and making money. Um, for a lot of people, there are seeds that are being planted. Obviously this is a card of success and not only that, but like of notoriety. So if you're doing well, um, there might be like a large purchase, like a vehicle or a home that basically is going to show everyone else look how well I'm, I'm doing um look how i've completely changed things for myself so um it will be success that uh, you won't be able to ignore um there will be tangible basically benefits um so yeah so for some people you're gonna have a lot of um things within your relationship going on right now um and then for others it's going to be more finances of course there's gonna be mixed energy for others but um whatever resonates with you obviously you'll know what speaks to you and what um makes sense but um either way this is a really good reading i'm so happy that i did this because um i mean i just had the feeling this week was going to be an interesting one um in a good way and yeah i got the confirmation that i needed so i'll see you guys in my next video